Welcome back. Today I'm going to be drawing Patrick from SpongeBob SquarePants. So let's get started. I'm first going to start with an oval shape for his eye and then connecting it with an oval shape here, which we won't see the full oval because it's uh, overlapped. Okay, inside of those oval shapes, we'll make some smaller oval shapes for his pupils. And we can just go ahead and fill those in if you're working with a marker. Okay, and then starting from above this oval shape here, we're just gonna kind of bring a line that comes all the way up and curves around. It could be slightly wavy, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. And then we're gonna bring it down all the way along the side. And I'm gonna stop about here, slightly below. It's almost like a, the length of an eye below. So right below this eye here, I'm gonna make a diagonal, small diagonal curved line, and then a curved line that comes all the way across here, leaving a bit of slight space um, below the eyes. Dropping a curved line diagonally out, and then swinging one all the way back up to this first diagonal curve line we made. In the middle here, we're just gonna make a bump line for his tongue. And now let's continue the shape of his body or the star, starting from here on the other side. And all the way out, we'll curve it along and outside the mouth, all the way down, curve it out. And it's gonna be for his arm, and then we're just gonna kind of bring it back up and in. All right, so if this is the length of his arm, we know his other arm is gonna be kind of a similar length. So I'm gonna curve out. And then we'll drop it down a little further and then bring it back up and in. So about here, I'm gonna swing it kind of across slightly. Here, we're gonna make his shorts. So I'm gonna bring a curved line that comes all the way across. Um, to about here. And then what I'm gonna do is start his stomach. So his line, a line here is gonna kind of curve around and in. This will continue down to create the rest of his stomach and which goes into his shorts. We'll stop here and we'll add a kind of a diagonally vertical line coming across horizontally and then back up and curve it in toward, <clears throat> toward his hands. Uh, let's add the other part of his, his uh, shorts here. So it's gonna be a line down, horizontal across, and then back up toward his stomach area. Uh, another line for the detail in his shorts coming across. And let's add some of these uh, really cool shapes he has on his shorts here. So it's just kind of a bump line that goes in, a bigger one here, and then here. These are just some uh, organic shapes and really can be any wavy or bumpy line that you'd like to add. We'll add one there and then maybe one over here on this part of his shorts. Let's finish up his arm, just connect it back in. We'll put a little curved line here for his uh, belly button with another detail line inside that. And then for his foot, we'll add just kind of a rounded curved line and one here as well. We can also add a little detail for kind of his toes, I guess. It's pretty cool. All right, um, we are just gonna add his eyebrow. So I'm just gonna add some kind of curved uh, kind of darkened lines above his eyes. And they're slightly angled because his face, face is slightly kind of turned a little. All right, let's get into adding some color. So I'm first gonna start with uh, green color for his shorts. And I'm just gonna start to fill it in. It's more of a light green color I'm using here. Cross. Again, going around these uh, organic shapes that we've made, we'll fill those in purple. And 
and also for his kind of a his shorts down here as well. It's going to be the same green color. Okay, I'm going to go into this uh, purple color for the organic shapes on his shorts. darker red for the inside of his mask first. If I need that any darker, what I could do is just go over it with a, kind of a shaded part of the pencil. Just kind of shade around it or shade kind of over it and I'll add uh, a bit of a darker value to it, which I might end up doing depending on how the contrast looks when I add the skin tone. A bit of a lighter red for his tongue area. Okay, and now I'm going to go into this uh, pink color I have and fill in his skin tone. Just being careful to kind of go around the outlined areas that I have. And what I can do is if I don't get close enough with this broad tip of the marker, I can go back with the fine tip and just kind of fill in the space. Okay, going back with the fine tip where I can get a lot closer to the outlined parts, making sure not to bump into any of that or make it kind of a smear out. And now what I'm going to do is go into a pencil and just kind of shade in a little bit of the area here, deepen up the, the value uh, inside the mouth here. And we can even add a little bit of shading to the side of Patrick's body to make him look a little bit more dimensional. Maybe on this side of his arm as well. And we'll also do it on this side of his shorts. And this is just creating a little bit of value. This is not uh, something you need to do necessarily. You want to leave the color flat. That also looks really cool as well. This is just kind of adding a little bit of, of uh, form to uh, Patrick. Okay, I hope you guys really enjoyed this drawing of Patrick Starr from SpongeBob. Give him a try, he's a lot of fun. Bye.